Hello guys, welcome to HTTP version stack view another tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll show you actually how you can generate alert and send that alert to uh, your email. So I'll show you step by step, but for sending email, you have to have a SMTP server. So if you work for a company, definitely the company has their own SMTP server. But if you want to do the practice at your home lab, how you can do the practice. So that's why I'll show you alternative way. Um, let me show you here. Login like uh, bravo.com. So, um, return to login, okay. So I'm going to log in. I have an email address here and I can log in there. Just give me one second, I'm going to, sh okay. Oh, sorry, I didn't share my screen. Okay, let me share my screen. Okay, so how you can generate the alert, right? So I'm going to step show you step by step, which is log into the email, right? So I'm going to log into this email. Okay, I think I have already logged in there. Let's show you this one. So you have to just log in, you have to have your account. So I just created a Gmail account and then uh, with this Gmail account, I register with them, which is the web apps here. If you, if you want to register, you can say sign with the Google or send whatever you're right. So I already did and I logged into my account. This is how it looks my account. So now when I logged in, it shows like this. Oh, sorry, it's look, it's look like this, right? So I need to use this one, this SMTP server. So how I can check the SMTP server. So I have to go to my profile. This is my profile, right? So click here and then you can say SMTP and, and API. And then you're gonna see here, all the sorry. So uh, for as a SMTP server, I need this name. And also this is the port number. And this is the, my email address or user, user ID or user account. And this is the passcode, the SMTP key value passcode. So I need those information. So I will show you actually step by step how you can configure the uh, B Center alert, how you can configure B Center alert, and how you can create this account. I have a completely separate video for that. Uh, so I'll share on this video description box. So if you if you want to know how to uh, actually sign up or create this SMTP server. Uh, so you can get all those information step by step on my other video. So, and I will post that, that video link to in this, this, in this video description box. And I'm going to minimize this one. And also I don't need this. Okay, so in B Center, how you can generate, I know, you know, like you can generate an alert. So, okay, what happened? Let me log out and log back in. Something happened. Everything is connected. What happened? Let's see. Okay. So ELS, B Center. Okay, let's let's open it from another server. Not this one. This one. So from ELS, let's, let's log in from the ELS server. Ah, WSS server, it's okay. From any machine, you can log into the B Center. So what is my B Center? You are, okay. ELS B Center dot ELS .com. okay. Just understand, so exactly same this one. This machine is a little bit slow. That's why I'm going to log in through this machine. Okay.
All right. So at the B center, how you can generate an alert? So generating alert is simple. Select the B center, go to the configuration, and then go to the alarm definition. And then select what kind of alert you want to generate. Say, for example, host hardware voltage issues, host issues. So just select select the select select right select it and then go edit and then this is a host so you click next and then you can say trigger the alarm and so you can select the severity select uh show as an warning show as in critical or say shows in critical and send email so and you can say here your, your email address so maybe i can use my email address which is md5 Okay, may, let, let's let's show you on my the one I set it up for um, just for testing the alert. So I can receive the alert from here and also oh, okay. Don't be confused. Let's show you. Okay, let's show you here. So I I'm, I'm gonna I, actually I'm gonna use the same email address. Um, I don't want to use my personal one. So. Uh, if I want to use same one, just give me a second, let's see. Okay, this is the one. So I can just use the same email address. It's not mandatory, you have to have the, the send to, that means you, have, you can use any email address. Not It's not mean that you have to use this one. You can use any email address, but I all other email address is my personal, so I don't wanna use my personal, that's why I'm using this one. But in your case, it should be different because in your companies, or your other co-worker, your team members, their email address you should be putting on the alert, right? Or maybe a DL. DL means distribution list. You get the group email. So it's going to be sent to everybody, right? And if you want to have a repeat, and the repeat, or you can do a lot of stuff here. I'm not actually spending time just to explain you the alarm. So you can you can shape the alarm different, different way. And click next. And then if host warning, like it's, if it is resolved, then uh, if host warning, add argument, select an argument, select an argument if you want, or you can remove it. And then severity is critical. Okay, so the previous one, we selected critical. So make it warning. And then next, this one, make it critical. And then send email notification you want you do you want repeat if you want you can repeat it and then the same email i put it here right click next and then reset the alarm to green so if you enable it and then also you can say trigger as what and then send email also if you after it's resolved or it's like whenever the alert or the issue resolve do you want to get another email which is like issues result if you want then you can just assign it again okay select the trigger change solution so you, actually you have to spend time here i'm just selecting randomly one host no license or something like that and then click next yeah this is what we set it up and click next uh, save so this is how we can generate an alert but my question is not just generating alert you can generate alert and then how are you going to see that alert how are you going to see that alert so if you log into the vCenter, maybe you will be able to see if you come to here and see the alert. But without coming to the vCenter, without logging to the vCenter, how you know automatically there is an issue on the vCenter? That means what? You have to send the event data, you have to send the alert data to the email. So if you want to send to the email, so you already set up the email, you already set up, you said, oh, I already set up the email, right? But it's not going to go through. 
because you have to have SFTP server information, then it will go through. So that's what I want to show you right now. So for setting up SMTP, you have to go to two uh, places, which is first select the vCenter, then go to the configuration. And then uh, when you select the configuration, you're going to see the general tab is automatically. The general tab is automatic. General, general tab will be automatically enabled, right? So go edit settings and then and then you're going to see mail and then mail server. So what should be the mail server and what will the mail sender? So mail server, now we have to use this one. The SMTP variable server, variable uh, portal where I logged in. So now I'm gonna use, this is the SMTP server, right? So SMTP, PLA, variable.com. So I'm going to put in the exactly same thing here. And then the email sender. Email sender is nothing. You don't need to have any email address. Just whatever you want, you can just put it there. And then when anybody received your email and that email is going to say, okay, this guys sent this email. So you can say um, alert at SLB B center. Alert at SLB B center. Or also, this is in my uh, um, ELS, right? You can see ELS. Alert at slbcenter.com or something, whatever you want. It, it doesn't matter. It's not, so you don't need to have this email address exist. Whatever you want, you can just put it there as a mail sender. So save it. So I saved the SMTP server information here. And also, this is the SMTP server information, right? And then I have to go to the advanced settings. And from the advanced settings, go to edit settings. And then find out, uh, let's see, F, SMTP, no, it's not showing actually this way. Uh, somehow you have to find out from here. So SMTP, if you look at here, uh, this is a, um, otherwise, sequence. So if you go now, next, 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 advanced vCenter. Oh, sorry. So in here, advanced P center, right? Advanced settings. So on the advanced settings, go down and CC. So you have to go for the SMTP, right? So S series. So if you click here like this, or I can go directly, you know, so I cannot go, right? I can see here 35, no, 35, I already crossed here. One step, two step, and I think S is there, right? Almost when you're there. Okay, where's the SMTP? Here, mail dot SMTP password. Okay, here, not as actually it's M, mail. So mail dot SMTP dot password, mail dot SMTP dot port, mail dot SMTP username. So you have to fill up these three information. So go edit option, and so in here from here, you have to go all the way down, and you have to find out the mail. Click 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 click, and then. You have to find out where the mail is, right? It still is L, you see, logger. Okay, I think I cross. Uh, okay, here, mail, mail password. So where, how, how, well, SMTP port, SMTP username. So if I go my SMTP, this is my SMTP login, that's my username. So I'm going to copy this one and then port number is 587, right? 587, okay. 
So port number is 587 and then this is my username, SMTP username and then and uh, what else is looking for? Okay, uh, password. Password means actually it's not your um, Bravo login password. It's your SMTP key. This one, this is the key, right? This is the key. So you have to copy this one. And then paste it here. Save it. And that's all. So your SMTP server is saved. Now, if you want to generate an alert, or if you just, you just, you just like configure the alert, and then whenever this, like, um, say you, you configure alert for data store or, or host error alert. So whenever host is go, went down, you will get, and it will, it will trigger a alert, and then that alert will send through email. So the one you set it up. So I can I can show you, but right now it's not generating any alert because I have to do some configuration here, then it will send the alert configuration. So I can show you here some, because I did it before you see here, a lot of alert I get from uh, Beam Backup, from the backup system. If you click here, you see here, who is the sender? Beam alert, there's nothing. Actually, it's sending through the this one, the one I show you right now, the same way it's sending here information. So without login there, you will be able to see everything, right? And I I think I have some BMR also, but it's all the way down. I don't know how many pages I have to go. Okay, all right. So this is the way, this is the way you can generate the alert from. So in any kind of application, if you want to send um, alert notification to the email, so this is the way you can do it. Same information, you can put it on all kind of application. So I show you on the B Center, you can do the same thing on the Beam Backup, you can do the other modern tools, whatever the place you want, whatever the application you want, you can use it. And this one is completely free. All right, thank you. And thanks for watching. And if you think this video is helpful for you, please give a big thumbs up and and also make some comments. Your comments encourage me a lot to make more videos. And also, if you're new in my channel, please subscribe my channel. Thank you. Thank you. I'll see you again um, in another video.